Michelle in Illinois in Garden Zone 5. So it's the first part of April. It's a little early to be planting up window boxes, but I'm going to do it anyway today for spring. We do have some few more nights uh, before that it's gonna drop down probably into the 20s. Our last frost date for zone five isn't until the end of April, but with the window boxes being up against the garden house and this is south facing, I think they'll be okay. And on those real, real chilly nights, I can always come out here and throw some frost cloth over them to protect them. But I am just craving some color, probably like you are and decided that even though I did plant a few little bulbs in with the evergreens, I think it's time for those evergreens to come out and I wanna replace those. I have some real pretty daffodils that I picked up that'll be white with a yellow center. And then I also picked up some gorgeous little English daisies that I think will look really sweet next to those with that yellow and white and just give it that little bit of spring color. Now, if you watched recently in my um, thrifting and shopping, plant shopping video, I did pick up some dead nettle. I did cut that in four sections and I'm gonna put that in the window boxes, I think. We'll see how that looks. Let's get going today so we can get the window boxes all ready for spring. And then I do wanna take you on a quick walk around the yard. I actually mowed for the first time yesterday for this season, which is like almost a month earlier than normal. But our temperatures have been really warm this winter spring time and so um, everything seems to be moving on like sooner than normal so the yard is looking nice i'm starting to get bulbs i got the hellebores planted that i purchased on that plant thrifting day they're looking really pretty the jane magnolia has buds all over her she is going to be opening soon so let's plant up the window boxes and then i'll give you a quick peek in the backyard Hey, and before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe. I post every week in the community tab and just show you things that are going on throughout the week. So I don't want you to miss those. So hit subscribe and join our community. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna get our gloves on. And then I have some a shovel to dig out the evergreens because I will repurpose those evergreens. These are dwarf Alberta spruces. So their mature height is like five by five, five foot high by five foot wide, but they're extremely slow growing. So I actually may plant those somewhere out in the back just for the season and then repurpose them again for next winter, or I might use them somewhere else. Or um, our son recently bought a home and he's wanting me to come up and do some landscaping up at his house for him and help him pick out stuff. So I may do that too. We may use some of those up there, but they will get repurposed. So let's put our big daffodil in first. So these bulbs won't last very long. So probably by the third week in April, I'll be ready anyway to replant and put fill these up with beautiful summer annuals. So I will end up transplanting these out into the garden for them to come back next year because they seem to do really well in Garden Zone 5. If you transplant them back out, use them in your planters, your window boxes, and then get double duty for them and put them out in your garden in the ground and next year they should come back for you. So the grape hyacinths I planted are looking really good. The crocuses are already done. So we'll take the crocuses out and we'll put those out in the garden for next year. And my hyacinth here is looking good, but it's almost spent. So I think we'll go ahead and take it out too. Okay, so I've got a nice little hole now for one of these gorgeous 
English daisies. Now I have not grown these before. I did research them the other night. In the article I read, um, they mentioned the English daisies are considered inv invasive, but it didn't list what zones they would be considered invasive in. And the reason they said they were invasive is that they self seed pretty easy. So if you have heard this or have experienced this with English daisies, let us know down in the uh, comments what your experience has been. Because I don't know that then if that is true, if I would want to put those out in the garden, I mean, they are beautiful, but I don't want something that's going to be considered evasive or start, start uh, spreading all over. And I do love window boxes. And if you have a place that you can put a window box, I would highly recommend getting a window box. It may be that you have to, um, I've had window boxes on fences before I had the garden house and didn't have really any place to put, put a window box. I've also put window boxes um, on decks, on our deck and had it hang off. So I think if you can do a window box, it just gives you that charm that you're looking for in the garden. And we'll do one right here on this side of the daffodil. So let's do the other one now. Well, I think they turned out really cute and I'll put updated pictures in the community post as they start to open more. But there's one and now let's go take a look. I'm gonna back up here. And there's the other one. You can see the fountain in the background inside the garden house. Oh, I can't wait to get the fountain out, guys. But that'll be a couple more weeks, probably. But let's back up here, and now you can get the look. I think it'll look really nice as they're opening it up, and it just gives us that spring feel. So now let's just take a, a walk around the yard. It's just starting to come, come back. It's really early, but I did pull out the bistro and put it outside to give it that spring feel. I'm enjoying that arrangement that I put together. I can see that from the deck and from the kitchen window and it looks really nice. And then I do have some bulbs out here that are blooming. Okay, so I wanted to show you here are the hellebores and we've got some daffodils. And last season I planted those white and yellow daffodils. Now that's what I just put in the window box. So when they open up, they are gonna look like that. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. And so I have that pink hellebore back here. And then we have the white one, the moon dance, the white, green, pink, chartreuse one here with those little daffodils peeking out in the back there with the, with the rose bush. And then the Jane Magnolia, we're under the Jane. Look, she is starting to put on all of her beautiful purpley pink buds. So it's just looking really pretty this early spring. And have a great day and I will see you in the next one, guys.